besides being a world-famous British TV host. Jeremy Clarkson is an adventurous man who seems to enjoy about everything his money can get him. But have you ever stopped to wonder about just how this tycoon lives? In this video you will find out all about the luxurious life of Jeremy Clarkson. Before we get started, I challenge you. You have to click on subscribe and activate notifications check the option all. But you have to do that in less than 5 seconds, you got it? And if you can, write in the comments hashtag about subscribe. Alright, let's get started. Career Born in 1960 in the city of Doncaster, England, Jeremy Charles Robert Clarkson is a great communicator of English radio and television. Having gone through a lot of bullying during his childhood, Jeremy's school grades were always underwhelming. But that didn't stop him from having a bright future. The young man began to dedicate himself to writing, becoming a columnist for local newspapers and car magazines in the 1980s. His performance as a car connoisseur soon opened doors for him to become a television host on one of the BBC channel's most popular programs, Top Gear. From then on, Jeremy never left the TV screens, acting in many other programs, such as his own talk show Clarkson, The Grand Tour, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, Clarkson's Farm, among many others. His strong positioning and opinionated, humorous presentation style both appeals to the crowds and draws a lot of criticism. And perhaps that is why Jeremy has become such a popular figure in the media. In parallel to this, the Englishman has released numerous books on different topics and interests. And having been doing relevant work for so many years, Clarkson has amassed huge wealth that can provide him a very comfortable life. Mansion Jeremy Clarkson is a famous TV host who has plenty of money to invest in luxurious homes. He grew up, for example, in a picturesque residence called Roland Bridge House in South Yorkshire, England. Jeremy Clarkson lived on the site in the early 1970s with his mother Shirley Clarkson, with this property dating back to the 17th century and containing original details preserved since its construction. The residence's main spaces include six luxurious bedrooms, some of which are suitable for children, while the suite has a separate staircase, as well as a modern living area and a lovely private bathroom. There's also a music room with a piano and some drums, a fairly formal dining setting, a cinema with a fireplace, and a kitchen with modern appliances and a marble island in the center, which includes a casual dining area. The property also has several bathrooms that have been restored by the last owners, a game room surrounded by glass windows and a study area that also serves as an office. Outside, the house has patios alongside the garden, as well as being close to Mill Dam Pond. And according to press reports, the residence where Jeremy Clarkson grew up was listed in 2016 for the princely sum of £1,200,000. Another property the presenter owns is a lighthouse house on the Langness Peninsula on the Isle of Man. Built in 1880, the property includes a large lighthouse and a few cottages, and Jeremy Clarkson used the site as a country retreat thanks to the area's tranquil climate, which offers several natural beauties. It is believed he still owns the lighthouse, which according to some sources, cost him £1,200,000. Jeremy Clarkson also owned a seven-acre farm-style property in Chipping Norton, Oxfordshire, which he shared with his ex-wife Frances Kane, and which was bought by the then-couple for £2,000,000. Another property that Jeremy Clarkson owns is a stunning 1,000-acre farm, located in Chipping Norton in the Cotswolds region of Oxfordshire. Known as Diddley Squat, the Star's Farm was featured on Amazon Prime Video's documentary show Clarkson's Farm, where you could follow the star on a day-to-day -day basis while he was learning how to care for this charming property. The site has areas for animal grazing, where there is a well-cared-for flock of sheep, as well as large fields for agricultural practice and an area for beekeeping. There are also huge tractors that Jeremy Clarkson likes to drive on a daily basis and nice land for growing wheat, barley and other cereals. In addition to all this, there is a lake, a rustic-style bar, outdoor dining areas, a lot of cattle and a restaurant with 60 seats. The site also has flower-filled fields that bring a sense of peace, where Jeremy Clarkson likes to gather with friends and family outdoors to enjoy the lush landscapes, not to mention there's also a large barn in which the presenter keeps all kinds of objects used daily on the farm, and the Diddley Squat Farm Shop, a store selling produce grown on the farm and in Chipping Norton. 
Jeremy Clarkson's property also encompasses the land where Colonel Hill Farmhouse stood, a large historic residence that was built in the early 1900s. Once the entertainer bought the place, many thought he would restore the house, but Jeremy Clarkson chose to tear it down in 2018, as shown on the grand tour when the house was completely destroyed in an explosion. Clarkson spent the next few years building a new mansion on the site, which has over 12,100 square feet of floor space, containing large windows in almost every room, from which you can enjoy the open views that provide much tranquility. While the mansion was being built, Clarkson spent some time living in a cozy barn house on the same estate where his home office is located, with the place having rustic stone walls, sophisticated glass doors, and a garden area outside. There is disagreement among some sources about the size and at what time the TV host had bought the property, even though he has previously stated that the place is 1,000 acres and that he purchased it in 2008 for an estimated $5,500,000. And apart from these villas, Jeremy Clarkson is also known to own a penthouse at Parkland Court, a luxury building located north of the city of London. Cars Of course, the most famous motorsport presenter on British TV also has an extremely diverse and valuable fleet of his own vehicles. It is speculated that the following cars have already passed through Jeremy Clarkson's garage. A $6,000 Jaguar XJR A $10,000 Volkswagen Sirocco a 6,995 pounds Mercedes-Benz CL600, a $18,000 Ford Cortina, a $20,000 Lincoln Continental Mark V, a $30,000 Volkswagen Golf GTI, a $35,000 Jeep Wrangler, a $50,000 Lamborghini R8 270DCR tractor, a $50,000 Lotus Elise 111S, a $50,000 Mini Austin Cooper, a $55,000 Alfa Romeo Alfetta GTV6, a $60,000 BMW Z1, a $60,000 Volvo XC90, a $85,000 Toyota Land Cruiser, a $100,000 Ford Escort RS Cosworth, a 100,000 pounds Mercedes-Benz SLK55 AMG, a $130,000 Mercedes CLK63 AMG Black, a $137,000 Mercedes-Benz SL55 AMG, a $150,000 Range Rover Autobiography V8, a $150,000 Mercedes-Benz 600W100, a $150,000 Ferrari F355 4, a $150,000 Aston Martin V8 Vantage 4. However, one of the cars the TV host has most regretted parting with was his BMW 3.0 L CSL, which sold for just £3,000 when it was worth around £130,000. One of the most expensive cars in his garage was a Bentley Flying Spur, a car of great refinement worth about $200,000. When he wanted a sports car to speed around the track, Jeremy had a Lamborghini Gallardo Spider, which, depending on the year and version, could be worth up to $200,000. But of course, Jeremy also likes to experiment with structural modifications to his vehicles. An example of this was his car dubbed as the Excellent, a car modified with a mixture of Land Rover Discovery and Mercedes SL of undefined value. Another transformation happened to his original $210,000 Bentley Continental GT V8, which was made sportier for his extreme adventures. However, one of the cars owned by Jeremy Clarkson that was done away with for the most value was his Ford GT40, with it being put up for sale for an impressive €315,000. For sure, the presenter does not save up when we are talking about cars. Yachts Whether he's working on recordings or he's on vacation, Jeremy Clarkson is always aboard excellent watercraft. With his beautiful girlfriend Lisa, for example, the presenter enjoyed his days off on a yacht in the French commune of Saint Tropez. The boat is the elegant model rehab, with capacity to sail comfortably with up to 12 people. In its intimate environment, there is a kitchen with table for meals and two cabins that accommodate up to four people. And to rent this yacht one has to fork out almost $27,000 a week. At the recording sessions for the second season of Amazon Prime's The Grand Tour Show, the presenter was aboard the 160-foot-long Da Vinci yacht. The interior decoration is modern and extremely luxurious, highlighting the blue, silver, and gold colors in the furniture and ornaments. The yacht has six spacious cabins and an elegant outdoor area with a jacuzzi and plenty of relaxing armchairs. 
and to rent this impressive vessel one has to pay $238,000 a week. On other occasions, Jeremy has shared on social media that he was taking some time off on the Shimara, a 215-foot motor boat. The yacht has been restored to have an extremely refined interior, with decoration that unites contemporary and classic style. For guest accommodation, there are six double cabins and a larger VIP cabin on the lower deck to provide plenty of comfort for crew members. In the open area you can also enjoy a bar and a beautiful deck with a jacuzzi. No wonder that to rent this luxury yacht, it costs around $290,000 per week. Jeremy Clarkson has already piloted and shown the speedboat Riva Aquarama special on his social media, also known as the Ferrari of the Sea, for its high speed and performance. Although small, the boat offers amenities such as onboard Wi-Fi and indoor mini quarters. It is not known if the presenter actually owns this speedboat or if he just rented it, but it is known that it is worth around $900,000. Surely, Jeremy must love being at sea. Chet Jeremy Clarkson has money to spare, and so he travels comfortably and privately on private jets. On his social networks, he has shared several recordings of his trips in these aircrafts. One of the models the presenter was seen using is the Cessna Citation XLS, a modern, high-performance, mid-sized twin-engine executive aircraft capable of carrying up to 12 passengers. With top-notch interior finishes, this aircraft offers smooth and cozy flights. It is not known if Jeremy owns this jet, but in case he only charters flights, he must spend something around $5,000 per hour. Luxury Watches Those who follow Jeremy in his shows and series have already noticed that he is always using different models of watches to compose his look, such as a $4,000 Omega Railmaster XXL, a $9,000 IWC Aviator Chronograph Top Gun, a $15,000 Omega Seamaster Planet Ocean, a $16,000 Breitling Professional Emergency, among many others. Net worth Jeremy Clarkson is a very wealthy man who has built his giant empire thanks mainly to his unique work in British television. The program that was most important for his media debut and contributed the most to his great fame is Top Gear on the BBC channel. Keeping in mind the high ratings of the motorsport show under his command, he has held this position for an impressive 23 years in total. And of course, Jeremy was well paid for it. According to various sources, the presenter had a base salary of $4 million a year, as well as having 30% of the rights to the entire Top Gear brand. That means he was also receiving a share of the profits from all the advertising and image licensing deals on the show. In doing so, Jeremy multiplied his salary, making, at his peak, about $17 million a year. Until in 2013, the BBC decided to take full control of the Top Gear empire and bought Clarkson's stake for $21 million. But Jeremy's wealth wasn't just limited to this project. In fact, he has received high salaries on other shows he has hosted. In actuality, in 2016 it was reported that he signed a huge $250 million contract with streaming platform Amazon Prime to develop and host the series The Grand Tour. But not all that money went into Jeremy's pockets, the fee was split with his fellow TV hosts Richard Hammond and James May. Alongside this, Jeremy is also currently hosting simultaneously the shows, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, It's Clarkson on TV and Clarkson's Farm. Not to mention the Englishman's other sources of income, such as the money earned from the sale of his various books and for the agricultural products from his farm. And while it is not known just how wealthy Jeremy Clarkson is, with so many sources of income and million-dollar contracts, his personal net worth probably easily exceeds the $100 million mark. Hey, you like the video? So don't forget about leave your like and comment, and tell some suggestions of another videos, and hopefully we gonna do it. All about channel, deals to satisfy your curiosity.